सो हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गाइज सो गाइज इन द मंथ ऑफ जानेवरी वी डेड अ बाइक राइड फ्रॉम मुंबई टू कोल्हापुर इन द कोल्हापुर सीरीज सो फार आई हैव अपलोडेड फाइव वीडियोज द लिंक ऑफ ऑल द वीडियोज हैज बिन गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो गाइज इन कोल्हापुर वी वर देयर फॉर टू डेज इन दिस टू डेज वी सो अराउंड सेवन डेस्टिनेशन दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प यू टू प्लान अ कोल्हापुर ट्रिप एज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग माई आइटनरी हाउ इज दैट वी विजिटेड ऑल द सेवन प्लेसेज इन दिस टू डेज एंड ऑल्सो आई विल बी शेयरिंग अ फ्यू बी रोल्स ऑफ ऑल द प्लेसेज विच विल हेल्प यू टू प्लान अ कोल्हापुर ट्रिप सो गाइज विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो we began our trip from a temple in kolhapur the first thing which comes to your mind when you hear temple in kolhapur is the mahalakshmi mandir in kolhapur so our first destination of the trip was nothing but the mahalakshmi mandir in kolhapur so this temple is very famous in kolhapur in fact kolhapur is known for this particular temple being an ancient temple shooting inside the temple is not allowed but we have still tried to shoot a few clips so here are a few b rolls of this particular place So guys the second destination of our trip was the Shahu Maharaj Palace also called as the New Palace Now guys this place is located in Kolhapur city itself it is located at a distance of around 4 km from the Mahalakshmi temple Now as the name suggests it is basically a palace where Shahu Maharaj used to stay but today this palace has been converted into a museum This museum has various items which belong to the Shahu Maharaj era Being a museum shooting was not allowed inside so i could not shoot what is there inside but i highly recommend that you should go and visit this particular place because they have maintained it very much properly and the palace is really beautiful as you can see in this b-rolls So guys the third destination of our trip was a fort by the name called as Panala. Now guys Panala fort is little bit away from the main city of Kolhapur to be very precise it is at a distance of around 23 to 25 kilometers from the main city. Talking about Panala fort it is very much different than a normal fort. Now when i say different i mean that Panala is actually a village where people are staying there are schools there are colleges like just like a normal village and in the middle of that particular village there are a few remains of that fort which are still maintained properly so if you are going on your own for the first time it may be a little bit difficult for you to actually locate these places though they are well marked but i would highly recommend that you should get a guide over here So guys after Panala we again came back to the city of Kolhapur where we saw the fourth destination of our trip 
The name of this place is Rangkara, which is a lake in Kolhapur. Now, uh, this place is ideal uh, for spending an evening. That is why we first went to Panada and afterwards we came back to the city to see this particular place. Now, if I have to tell about this place, I would just give a comparison. That is, this place is as good as the marine drives in Mumbai. Now, to be very fair enough, uh, we did not spend much time over here and neither could I shoot anything over here uh, because it was pitch dark when we came over here and it was very crowded. I do not like crowded places, especially when I'm on a trip, okay? So, we didn't spend much time over here. So, guys, so far I have covered four places in Kolhapur. Now, if you are having only one day in Kolhapur, that is basically if you want to spend just one day in Kolhapur, this is the itinerary which you can follow and you can cover four places. Now it's up to you. You can either delete a few places or add a few places which are there in the city itself. It's up to you. But these were the four best places which we could visit on the first day. Now guys, the day two of our trip was little bit away from Kolhapur. Little bit nahi, bahut jada away tha. <laughs> Matlab, we went almost 60 kilometers away from the city of Kolhapur. So guys, the first destination on day two, which was basically the fifth destination of our trip, was the Kopeshwar Shiv Mandir. Now, I have made a separate video on this particular place. The link is there in description below. So a detailed video is there already on my channel. You can check that particular video out. In short, if I have to say, if you are a lover of ancient temples with amazing architect, this is the place that you should visit. So guys, after Kopeshwar Shiv Mandir, it was time to go to the next place that is Narsobachi Wadi. Now, the distance between Narsobachi Wadi and Kopeshwar Shiv Mandir is around 15 to 17 kilometers. Now, Narsobachi Wadi is basically a temple which is dedicated to Lord Dutta. It is very much famous and it is very much famous amongst people who are very religious, you know, who visit temples. So this place is definitely, you know, it attracts many people. So here are a few clips which I have recorded at this particular place. So guys, after Narsopachi Wadi, the next destination, which is the seventh destination and also the last destination of our trip, was the Temple of Bahubali. Now, this temple is situated at a distance of around 30-35 kilometers from the city of Kolhapur. Now, no offense to the religious importance of that particular place, but I will talk from the perspective of a traveler. If you ask me, should I visit this place, then I would say it's not that recommended as a traveler. So guys, to visit or not to visit is totally your call. Just to give you an idea about the temple, I have recorded a few clips at the temple, so have a look at this. So guys, that's it from me today. I hope whatever information I have shared in this video so far will help you to plan a Kolhapur trip. If you have any other queries with respect to this itinerary, then you can definitely ask me in the comment section below. With this video, uh, my Kolhapur series also comes to an end. Uh, I hope you have liked all the videos in this series. Totally have uploaded six videos. So guys, until the next video, 
गुड बाय